This group of people, in order to gain eternal life, they are about to transform a bird of time. The ceremony begins. Each of them had their blast helmets on. Then Paul pulled the switch. The next thing you know, there's white smoke coming out of your head. This isn't refining a time bird. This is clearly a way of refining themselves. Not surprisingly, their experiment had failed. Not only did they fail to gain immortality, but their fingers grew longer and their eyes disappeared. In no time they were transparent monsters. Later, the monsters discovered that if they ate the eyes of an alien, they could temporarily regain their human form. So they hunted them everywhere. Just then the time bird Anna had brought back woke up. She told Miss Pei that Paul hadn't given up on immortality. He was planning to catch more time birds for his experiments. Miss Pei felt that it was no longer safe here. So she told the children to pack their things and get ready to run away. But she was too late. Paul was already at the door to protect the children. She had to follow Paul's request. She turned herself into a time bird and flew into the cage. In order to rescue Miss Pei, the children went through a cave in time. They came to an amusement park. Here they used paint to make the monster appear and sent an army of skeletons to surround the monsters. After finishing the monster,